Yes. Based on this year's theme of connecting the disconnected, Convergence India Expo primarily aims to catalyze Make in India Smart Cities mission and Digital India initiatives spearheaded by the Government of India to boost startup innovation, electronic vehicles automation, sunicorns and e-commerce. Now, the electric vehicle market, you just saw one EV pass by, that's one fascinating way of branding what you're, uh, what you're building. So this, this particular EV market is enjoying a fantastic year. Since 1950, India has made significant progress in a variety of fields, including the automobile industry, where India is ascending one of those world's largest, largest and most important markets, EV. And in an effort to embrace greener mobility, this, this auto market is on the verge of a switch from internal combustion engine to electronic vehicles so that means IC IC automobiles are going to be maybe obsolete in a few years or decades and this complete ecosystem is going to become EV we can say the Indian corporates are leading the way toward this EV switch they are actively participating and contributing to this shifting journey Ola Electric Tata Motors, Simple Energy, Okinawa, Arthur Energy, Hilo Electric, Bajaj Auto, TVS and some of the big Indian companies that are some of the big names already in this Indian market. They are facilitating this switch and the change is slowly becoming visible. Now, if you have to understand this visibility, uh, I, I would give you pointers to help this. Between January and March 2022, Electric vehicles have accounted for up to 5% of all new vehicle sales. Number two, seven states, including states like Assam and Odisha, have announced EV favoring policies. India today has over 9 lakh registered EV vehicles. Many states are offering exemptions for road taxes and vehicle registration taxes under their policies if you are buying an EV. Number five, Delhi recorded a 138% year-on-year growth in EV sales this particular year. It is expected that by 2030, electric vehicles may even account for up to 80% of two- and three-wheeler sales and about 19% of private automobile sales. But there are issues and it won't be a smooth road for EVs yet. What are those? The infrastructure is expensive and wouldn't happen without some serious government push. Demand side incentives are still inadequate. Battery swapping and EV charging business models as seen here at the Expo, they will become crucial game changers for this transformation. Government-owned vehicles becoming completely electric will also be a huge push since it will bring huge public infrastructure like charging stations in place. Understand this, innovation driven by startups in this space such as EV chargers connected to solar power over conventional power and so on. Ambitious regulations and a properly crafted roadmap are going to be absolutely essential for this change to happen. It remains to be seen when the demand push finally comes through because that will be when all of these efforts will finally come to fruition. I'm Abhishek Dev, that's what speaking from the Convergence India Expo 2022 at Pradati Maidan, New Delhi, signing off.